Hello dear students, welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Gizla. In this video, we shall take up a question related to compound interest. So let's start with the question. Ravi purchased a house from DDA on credit. If the cost of the house is 7,50,000 and DDA charges interest at 6% per annum compounded annually, find the interest paid by Ravi if he makes the payment to DDA after 3 years. So this is our question. Let us first study it. Now Ravi has purchased a house from DDA on credit and the cost of the house is 7,50,000. That means he has borrowed 7,50,000 from DDA and he has to pay interest at the rate of 6% per annum compounded annually for 3 years. So principal in this question is rupees 7,50,000 rate of interest is 6% per annum and time period is 3 years. Now let's start with the first year. So principal for the first year is 7,50,000. Now interest for the first year shall be calculated at the rate of 6% on 7,50,000 and we shall apply the formula of simple interest for one year to calculate the interest for the first year. So formula is PRT upon 100 is equal to 7,50,000 that is our principal into 6 that is our rate of interest into 1 that is for 1 year we are calculating upon 100 is equal to rupees 45,000 that is the interest for the first year is rupees 45,000. Now we shall calculate the amount at the end of first year and amount you know that it is the sum of the principal of the first year and the interest of the first year. So we shall add 7,50,000 plus 45,000 and we shall get 7,95,000 as the amount at the end of the first year. Now this amount at the end of first year will become the principal of the second year. Therefore, principal for the second year is the amount at the end of the first year which is equal to rupees 7,95,000. Now we shall find the interest for the second year at the rate of 6% on this new principal that is principal for the second year rupees 7,95,000. We shall apply the formula of simple interest for one year that is PRT upon 100 is equal to 7,95,000 into 6 into 1 upon 100 which is equal to rupees 47,700. Now further we shall calculate the amount at the end of second year which is the sum of the principal of the second year and the interest of the second year. So principal is 7,95,000 and interest is 47,700. We shall add them together and we shall get the amount at the end of second year that is 8,42,700. Now this is the principal for the third year. So we can say principal for the third year is 8,42,700 which was actually the amount at the end of second year. Now interest for the third year shall be calculated on this new principal that is 8,42,700 at the rate of 6%. Again, we shall apply the formula of simple interest for one year that is PRT upon 100 is equal to 8,42,700 into 6 into 1 upon 100 which is equal to rupees 50,562. Now amount at the end of third year is the sum of the principal of the third year that is 8,42,700 and interest for the third year that is 50,562. So we shall add both the values and we shall get the amount that is 8,93,262 which is the amount at the end of third year. Now after getting this amount at the end of third year we have to find the compound interest. Now compound interest we know it is the difference between the final amount and the initial principal. So final amount after 3 years is 8,93,262 which Ravi had to pay to DDA after 3 years and the initial principal which he had borrowed was 7,50,000. So we shall find the difference between the two values that is 8,93,262 minus 7,50,000 and we shall get the compound interest rupees 1,43,262. So this is the interest which is paid by Ravi after 3 years to DDA. So this is it. Hope you have understood the questions and the various steps which are involved in finding the compound interest. Please do like and subscribe my channel. 
Thank you everyone for watching the video. Have a good day.